Hi, I'm Dr. Raj Patel at Vancouver Vision Clinic here in Vancouver, Washington. And uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about becoming an optometrist. Um, I think one of the main things to think about in any health profession is to make sure that you choose health professions because you enjoy working with people. I think that's paramount and certainly that's the case in optometry. Um, I think thinking about becoming an optometrist really starts when you're in high school. And when you're in high school, I would suggest um, visiting with your optometrist and talking to them about job shadowing at their clinic for a few hours in a day. I think um, we've done that many times with students and what we find is that it's a great way to energize people and a great way for you to learn about if optometry is really for you or not. It kind of gives you a little snapshot of what life's like as an optometrist. So I would recommend starting there. The, essentially after that, and once you realize that optometry is something that you really have an interest in, the next step is to uh, go to college. And so in college, you, uh, uh, many, pay, many people who become optometrists have a variety of different uh, majors in college. A lot of them have science majors, but you can just as well go to optometry school with majors that are outside of science. And I, you know, I think a lot of people encourage that. It kind of gives you a, a more well-rounded uh, background. So you can be a music major, a science major, a math major, uh, but ultimately you'll take lots of classes in sciences and maths and, uh, and, and have all the prerequisites you need to start optometry school. So that's kind of what will happen through those first four years after high school. And then somewhere in there, you'll take an admissions test called the Optometry Admissions Test, the OAT. And the OAT is a test that you take, um, and based on your performance on the test and also how you do in undergrad, you, uh, the optometry schools will look at that information along with your interview and see where you're the right fit at what school. And then you'll start optometry school. And which is a great fun time and uh, really one of the more enjoyable uh, times um, that you'll have. You'll make a lot of great friends. And Optometry School is a, a four-year program in, at a handful of schools across the country. And so at the conclusion of those four years, um, you'll be doing uh, these programs called externships where you'll have some hands-on time with patients and get lots and lots of patient encounters underneath your belt. And then nowadays, uh, a large portion of graduating optometrists choose to do these uh, one-year residency programs, which are essentially these intense training programs that last a year in a variety of different um, particular topics within eye care. And also, somewhere after graduation or towards the end of graduation, you'll take these uh, national board exams and state board exams. And so at some point after high school and about after eight or nine years and a series of exams, you'll have all the um, necessity, all the things that you'll need to become an optometrist. And if it's something that you've carefully chosen and you uh, started really carefully at the front end and had a good experience um, evaluating the career, you'll know in the end you made a really good decision. And so that, in general, is the way to become an optometrist.